I cracked a little bit in one spot there. Was that really bad or is that cool? Do it again. Why not? Oh, thanks, man. You sound great too. That's good. That's that's always something you tell somebody to inspire a lot of confidence in them. Hey, man, you're driving really well today. Thanks. I'm drunk. This is your captain speaking. We're flying at 40,000 feet. I just wanted to inform the cabin that I'm drunk. Give me a minute here. I'm gonna, about to reach down. I got to re reach. I got to reach down. Don't worry if I reach down, it's below the level of the word window is you ain't gonna see me. Donde esta la casa de Pepe? Ronnie, will you go out with me? Will you, will you be with me? <laughs> Let me just figure out what I'm gonna do next. Actually, that, that's kind of what I'm doing with my whole life. Just still trying to figure out what's coming next, you know? I gotta sing this one more pissed off. I have to get pissed off. Which which shouldn't be hard at this time. It's it's technically the solo, but since we don't have anybody to do a solo, I could try to blow one at my house. Why is it that every time I get on the microphone I talk with an English accent? I don't know. Every little dream you had is dying. I'm not gonna get pregnant. I'm not going to that place. I'm not going out there. I'm not gonna be another hopeless case. Oh. I tell you what I could use for a glass of water would be awesome for when you guys would mind getting me that. Well, <clears throat> another captain would be good too, but. Kind of right on the break here, I'd like to introduce my friend, uh, Sal Vito, from New York. Hey, how you fucking doing? I'm gonna do a little song for you. This one's called, uh, this one's called the Bronx Blues. Hey, it goes like this. Kids now? Yeah, I want it. Kill it. You killed it. 